Hidden Meadows is a space that encourages community connection, that focuses on celebrating art and culture and music and Eritrean cuisine, and uh, is a space that we hope empowers women, empowers youth, and people facing multiple forms of oppression. In our minds and in our lives, all those things already intersected. You know, we. We're working with homeless women, and we were working with young people, and we were Eritrean, and you know, really were proud and celebrated our culture, and we loved art and music, and we saw, you know, all those things coexisting and really enriching each other, and so we thought that there, it'd be great to have a space where all those things could, you know, like flower. I think what resonates for me most about Rawa is that she's created a space. Um, for a culture that is not the majority culture here in Seattle. She's created a space for the East African community specifically to really find a home. You know, um, Hidmo means home, and I think that's exactly what Rawa has created in the Central District for her community. Um, but more than that, she's opened the doors of her home and invited all the rest of us in to experience what she does there, and I really respect that. And so Hidmo, in a lot of ways is a voice for the voiceless. And it's really important when we are faced with decisions and questions that we stay true to the communities that we say that we serve and stay true to our core values and our core principles. And a lot of times that's hard, but to be a leader is to, you know, make hard decisions <laughs> and, you know, uh, handle yourself with integrity. The ideas and the dreams of youth inspire me and I aspire to make this world a better world for them to live in. We lend our space out for use by local organizations, community organizations, nonprofits, individuals that just are seek to do positive things in their community and share our goal of building community with an emphasis on the empowerment of young people and the empowerment of women. Leadership is its a lifelong process. I know that it's not something that I started learning here at Hinmo and that I'm gonna, you know, stop learning once, you know, that you ever stop. You're constantly learning because you're constantly coming into contact with things outside of yourself. I think reading about, learning about, hearing about Rawa's leadership has helped me to understand that leadership doesn't look just one way and it doesn't sound just one way. Um, as we were doing research for the brief reflection papers that we wrote about these leaders, I researched Rawa and I found her quoted um, on the mayor's website and I found her quoted on the Anarchists of Seattle website. And you just realize that you're never gonna be all things to all people and if you can garner the support of a few people that will believe in what you're doing, you're leading. There are just so many stories of people that we have come in contact with Hidmo, have either as artists or as folks that have come to see shows or participated in different things that have happened here that have walked away changed or, you know, that there are lots of people that Hidmo has had a huge effect on. What inspires me the most about Rawa as a young woman of color is I see her and I see myself. And that's not always something that I see in leaders in my community and so to see that in her um, completely inspires me. Um, Hidmo is just an ever-growing and evolving thing and right what we are right now is probably not what we're going to be in five years because the more that we learn about the community that we, we are serving and the more that other people step up and take leadership and you know take projects on and you know push issues and agendas forward the stronger and better that we become and so I think we just want to continue to do that. Our, our bottom line is building community, is building a sustainable community. I don't think money doesn't build a sustainable community, people do.